Yeah, and it was my fault it wasn't even like stupid smoke, but it's just me. I need to actually learn how to consistently get fast Yoshi, or at least get it at all. Because I mean, I kind of go for it, but I think I must be doing wrong inputs because I never get it. But I also don't put that much time into it because it's such a long category that... I mean, yes, I get Yoshi a number of times oh. in this level, but... It's actually worth learning. I'm working, I'm playing on an American SNES. Um, but I put the Japanese cartridge uh, into my American um, SMW case, so that way it fits correctly. I just happen to have the uh, the game bit drivers, so I can just easily swap those out and take them. I have to jump one frame? I'm, I think I'm releasing before I jump, that must be the issue. So that was a little slow, but... beat my uh, Yoshi's House world record. Nice. <laughs> By like two seconds. How did that beat it? Is that like a super slow orb grab? They couldn't have beaten it. I'm confused now. Hmm. I don't know if I have recorded my Yoshi's House world record, so... I don't actually know what happened during it. So it's possible I split at a slightly different time, but it was either way that was very fast. Thank you. Because the only slow part was the first orb grab. <sighs> okay. death is intentional, I want to get a cape later without overriding the orb. And this is the fastest level to die in, so that's why I choose to die there. Also just happens to be the next level I want to play, so it's out quite well. Also I need to die in an instant fashion so I don't drop the item from my item box. So I can't die from an enemy, though as it will automatically drop the orb. Which is not what I want to do. Right. 
Responsive up and down. It's only okay if it's annoying to have a slightly sensitive. Yeah, that was definitely an 80. That was a really slow first room. Put it in reserve box on the practice card because the practice um, card allows you to put any value into your item box. Also allows you to get any value of Yoshi. It's a really cool practice card because you can practice a lot of these or like test out these random things. Yeah. It's hard to activate seven sub wolf. That'd be that's super weird. Sub seven start. I would. I didn't even pay attention to my time. That's too bad. defeats the purpose of uh, having the invincibility. And you could do it with dying instantly and then grabbing an instant cape and then you can have invincibility with cape. Yeah, that would work too.
I did not get far enough to reach the fire power up. Nice. Even slightly ahead. And we can even compare against personal best and be really happy that we're a minute and a half ahead. Okay, let's see if we can get some decent zips here. off to such a great start. Had like the perfect start to zips and then it just went severely downhill because that zip I missed is so long. Said about the first zips. It's a very solid start, you know. Struggle 3 is such a short level. I guess it's a little more interesting if you don't have cape. Then you actually have to throw the blocks up at the lack of two. That's it. Man, my brain is slow right now. Um, to get his cloud. Yep. Um, it 
capeless, small Mario only, speedruns are done. Um, if you can think of a category, it's oh. run. <laughs> yeah, no cave, no star world is fairly common. Uh, there's occasional 95 exit speedruns because you can't get um, Donut Ghost House secret exit without a cape. Um, Cape No Star World is probably more interesting, though. Because um, in the 95, it's gonna be a lot of Blue Yoshi. I don't know, actually, no, I haven't looked into it. But yeah, some people don't like the cape, so they do without the cape. There we go, finally, a run. Capeless is, Capeless is a lot harder, um, but exceptionally useful um, for when you do mess up, though. Um, which is why a lot of the high-level players also practice no cape strats, that way when you mess up, you don't actually lose that much time. Because you can just do the no cape strats and then get a cape somewhere else. So I've started to work on that a little bit, but yeah. Yeah. Though, the levels that you don't get to fly over are quite interesting, though. And those are the more fun levels. <laughs> Wasn't sure if I'd actually land on Yoshi. Yeah. Very solid Star World, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because some some exits are quite difficult without a cape. Those are certain exits that you're intended to do with a cape. Wow, that was a 10 second gold? I guess I haven't actually completed that many runs past that point, so... Oh, come on, I hit that. Safety cape. I don't recognize a lot of hacks. I've not actually played a ton of different hacks. I really should at some point, but... They really shouldn't, because Star Wars 5 is actually fairly simple. Um... But yeah. They do sometimes, when I'm just being dumb. Because it's just, it's just a lot of pressure on the, the last, like seconds. And there was a time where I was messing up the setup consistently, and I didn't realize it, so I was losing a lot of runs there. A lot more of them will fail at Yoshi's house, though. Way more will fail at Yoshi's house. And this is why I do Yoshi's house as soon as possible. I run to Star World 5, and then I run to Funky Secret. It may not be the most efficient routing, but it's the most efficient for RTA attempts, because I can then get all the extremely technical levels out of the way as soon as possible. Okay, let me... That's so I have it for later.
This level is nice to get very smooth. I did try somewhat hard to prevent you from flying over some of these levels in s Special World, but not in the last two. Like, I mean, I guess it's kind of nice that they didn't force you to not fly over um, these next two levels. Funky's actually really not that difficult of a level. Oh, that's slow. That's not ideal. Back on Yoshi. slow, but I don't care. I got flight. This level is dumb. <laughs> really, really scary. No cape. Still pretty scary with a cape. And laggy. Especially there. Or you just have to go into a completely fast level and then just like a couple other things in the way. But yeah, this level. This level is super hard. No cave. It is required springboard usage um, right there. So you have to grab that springboard there and bring it all the way over there and keep it. Or, I don't know, and then take out that guy. It's a very difficult level. This is probably the hardest level. No cape. The previous level is the hardest level, um, even with cape. Um, at least, especially doing it quickly. Um, but with cape, this level is a joke, and Funky's also kind of a joke. But a really cool level. How you're supposed to use Yoshi to uh, give yourself more time. Also, a fairly long level. As levels go. Over screens. I forget how many screens it is, but it's fairly long. Because most levels are around 40 in game seconds by flying. I think this one is like closer to 60. So it's like 50% longer than most levels. You have half as much time to do it. I think that's the challenge on this one. They really do. They're all very unique. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, this time is all pretty much from Mondo. Chocolate Island 2 is one of the coolest levels in the game. What am I doing so high up? Um, just haven't gotten this far in a run in a while. Um, where they use the, like, different attributes, like, change what sub-level you go to next. Such a cool idea. Like, it must have been so much work for just a single level to implement that. <laughs> yeah, Tubular not a huge fan of in terms of level down. It's cool, like, you get to use the pea balloon, but, like, it's so frustrating, especially the, the footballs. Like, they're perfectly placed to be obnoxiously difficult. And you have to search to find the, uh, pea balloons. Which can be kind of annoying. Maybe 
if you're talking about it casually, but, um. Yeah, other than that, I think we must ah, missed it again. We get another shot at it, though, later. Yeah. The, the timer, like, the timing between them is quite short. Like, you have to be very precise. Like, there's no time to search around for them, actually. Slow. Yeah. I would say that's by far the most unfair of the special world levels. The other ones are... there are other ones that are more difficult, but I would say that one's the least fair. Trying to get the down dupe, but um, it's just I thought I was somewhere else, and so get yeah, no, it's bad on my. Yeah. I don't think they even intended for the, uh, crouch jumping mechanic to, uh... Don't worry, mostly. You're fine. Maybe increasing the timer, having better mobility with it, because your mobility is pretty terrible. Also, it's really funny that it's a held item, is the pea balloon. I just find that really interesting, that's how they implemented it, so it's a force held item. Yeah, also, another really annoying thing about the pea balloon is if you are falling as you grab it, you cannot, like, handle- because of the movement speed affects your velocity so little, like, you fall so fast, and it's like you can't slow yourself down if you're falling as you grab it, which is especially bad in tubular, especially with how the first pea balloon is placed. That'd be my recommendation, would be movement speed. Just because you're so limited in how quickly you can move. Like, I don't think a huge adjust adjustment is needed, but I think a small adjustment could make a huge difference in it.
Finally, I've been messing that up a bunch today. Frustrating. It's been like 15 seconds. Solid. Alright, oh, that's where I lost my time. Yeah. See if I can think of any, like, more interesting changes, but that would be... To make it more fair, that'd be the basic change I would do. Um, the interesting mechanics you can use with the pea balloon. Like, you can't hold any items with it, You, I mean, except frame-perfect stuff, but, um... Well, something in the air that you can do that you couldn't do while flying <clears throat> um or you couldn't do with a blue Yoshi I guess it's that's okay, because I actually have the secret exit first. Oh, that'd be cool. To do a flying boss fight. That's a really good idea. Yeah, those special arenas are so hard to modify. Um, I was going to say you could do a boo fight. Uh, maybe you could still find a way to make that work. But, um, fights, like, since you need, normally need to throw things at him, that normally people would not really allow for that. Um, can you do some sort of resonor fight? I'm just thinking of the bosses that you can actually modify easily. Yeah, I've done I've done a boo fight. Oh, let me Wendy and Resmers. Okay. I did not know that. Wendy. Okay. Yeah, the other guys have their special arenas. The other guys are just pipe rooms. Just because I've seen those are the most common in, like, ISO hacks and stuff, are those fights. So that's why I know those are easily modifiable. you can like add like a few minor things in to change them but oh yeah to rotate their background I never thought about that Because that's like not part of the sprite, that's part of the background. Uh -huh. oh, that's what. Hmm. I never made that connection. That's why the background isn't there in the ROM hacks. I should have taken damage there. Somehow I didn't. Okay, I'll take it. 
need that. Okay. Time for the crew. Well, time for boringness and then craziness. I'm kind of torn with how Butterbridge 2 was designed, since we're on top of level design. Like, it made it challenging, like the jump's somewhat challenging, casually. So like, it's not a boring level, so to speak, but like, it's also really punishing, is the problem. Because it's so long. Did I say Butterbridge 2? Sometimes I say it incorrectly. Butterbridge 2 is also pretty annoying casually if you're not flying over it. Oh, yeah, because they got... Yeah. Uh, the best strategy i found for that is uh, to duck under them. When I do my no-cave strats in this level. It's just... It's too inconsistent to bounce on them. Way too inconsistent, so I just... Stuck under them. <laughs> also, you got like the kicking shells, which is a really cool mechanic from the uh, the blue coupons. I actually want to make a level based around just kicking shells and stuff. So, but I mean, <laughs> I spend way way more time speedrunning than making levels. I'm not great at making levels either. So, nice. three with two fireball. Start. Come on, don't miss that. I really need to practice this, because I used to get this, like, try every time. Really not that hard either. I will try to explain that in a second, but I still need to focus because it's about how to do a pretty ridiculous. Um, so if you remember how I got the orb, I'm gonna do something similar. Just it also requires this ridiculous setup for it to work, at least consistently. Oh. 
Yeah, like that. You know. Ridiculously fast. And, uh, it's still not gonna be gold, but, uh... Oh, it is gonna be gold. What do you know? By, like, 0.2 seconds. Um... <laughs> while we're walking... Yeah. Yep. It's not a screen scroll this time, but this this next one coming up is going to be a screen scroll. That one is during a power up animation and is much much simpler. A hey, switch. I know, right? <laughs> Yeah, you're fine. I'm, I'm doing the same trick right here with the screen scroll, so... Just prepping him for the second one. Safety switch... Spawn fire, thank you for not spawning fire. Yes! <sighs> oh, don't re enter. Is this still gonna cause the uh, save prompt? It does! Really interesting. Wasted a bunch of time there by re-entering the level, but um, no one cares. <sighs> uh, yeah. So to explain that level, I did a crazy setup on the previous one to get a Dino Rhino, which is a normal enemy, uh, which I will. Try to point. Out, remember to point out later in the game when we actually run into one, into my item box. Um, and then certain sprites have stun states. Correct. Yeah. Answering their question there, but um. Yeah. So certain, st um, so like a Koopa, when you hit it into its shell or out, well, I'm trying to remember a good example right now of a stun sprite, but um, yeah, I'll point them out again later, because you didn't actually get to see what they normally look like, you got to see the glitch version, because they're tile set specific. So, un all, every sprite, at least I believe every sprite will have switch with the, the assist. But, um, oh, my favorite world now. Uh, pretty much all sprites have a stun state, if not all of them. Um, but very few of them were actually intended. Buzzy Beetles, Buddy's be that's the one I wanted. Buzzy Beetles, when they're stunned, they are hiding in their shell. That's a stun sprite. The Dino Rhinos, when they are stunned, they become a keyhole. Therefore, if I can find a key, then I can get the secret exit to that level. But there's no key in that level. 
that means I have to do another item swap to get a key. Except the key I get is actually an unused flying key that was still left in the game. Which is quite glitchy and it damages Mario when you touch it, so... So, that's why I take damage off of it. Um, and then that knocks off the wings. You can also eat it with Yoshi to knock off the wings. Yep. And then I used that key with the keyhole allowing me to get the secret exit, where it was not intended. Thank you. I've been messing up in a really dumb way, which prevents me from getting this exit. Um, me and Switch kind of came up with this method. I reckon I said because in the Japanese version, since you get a lot less time, um, I was wondering if it would be possible to use an item box down a rhino to spawn the keyhole instead of the stunning a one up mushroom to get you a dino rhino, which you then stun again, which is just dumb. Uh, to get the keyhole. It's ridiculous, you should watch those videos. They're just stupid. So I recommend that to Switch. He found a way to stun it easily, and then I knew you could get a key in um, Funky because that's the easiest place to get a key, actually. Spit out automatically stunned. Um, no, because the Dino Rhino I was in my mouth technically, and then I stomped it, and while the um. The particles, smoke, dust, that's what I wanted. Um, so I have, I have to spit out the um, keyhole before those dust particles disappear. Please don't mess this up. This level sucks. Play this safe because no rip. Again, I I I will say that I do not fully understand stunning sprites, so Switch can probably give a better explanation than I can. I'll pick up the shell. Thank you. Unfortunately, pretty much a normal speedrun until we get to the end. Actually, let me 
of my route because I want to make a on-the-fly edit to it. Do this right now. Wow. That spawned. Wow, that is button press. I just use that. That would have been smart. Yeah, whatever. Not a big deal. Minor time loss. Not a big deal. 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 <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Um, where'd you go? Well, at least I have a cutscene after that. Spawn locations are. Ah, mm. Game, please, thank you. That would have been gold, but I messed it up big time. There. It's an inedible flag, not an edible flag. <laughs> okay, that's the part I want to focus on, because I know the route up to then. <laughs> yeah. really close. Hey, Ranos! Yeah, I do them manually by RAM addresses, how I've done them. <laughs> I just look up the, uh, yeah. I do it the, the dumb way. Fire flower? Where was I supposed to grab a fire flower? I was supposed to grab a fire flower in, um. Mm. It's dumb of me. Oop. 
Quick is slow without a fire flower. I'm on a... yeah, I will forego the 10 seconds or whatever. No, it's actually a fair amount more. I forget how much it is. But it's... whatever. I honestly do not care about the missing flower right now. I don't think anyone else has picked it up. Um, I think Arthur was mostly in... I don't know if he was mostly interested. I think he liked the idea of the category and was hoping to beat my time. But, um... Funky and Yoshi's house are quite a bit of work to get under, like, working on. Um. I know Dots had mentioned it at some point. I don't know if he's going to do that, or when he's going to do that, if he's going to at all. Yeah, I would definitely put a lot of time into. Why did I do that? Whatever. Um, into 96 before working on this. It's. Because it's pretty annoying to get the. Oh, this is like. Scary slow flying speed. Like, fast flying speed is scary. It's scary because it's so slow. slow, but whatever. But yeah. I think it's just a cool thing to run, or like, just to have on your cart to have all all these extra exits on them. I think it's pretty cool. Sorry, I had to focus and interrupt conversation and stuff, but yeah. Yeah, because a lot of the exits can be pretty stressful, so if it's, you're like not doing it as a run, it can be a lot more fun as a challenge to try to do these exits. Yeah, I would, I would put a good amount of time into No Star World, because those are some of the more difficult uh, 96 exits as well, and then you only have a couple other difficult ones to learn. It works out really well. Now we get to see how Heart Clip treats us. And where Switch gets to brag about him never being RNG'd out. I get to say... Get good. It's crazy. Today. 
At least talking about not getting RNG'd out of it. Which is just dumb. Really wish there was no RNG in it. Honestly, in no Star World, until you've got like uh 35 ish, like even then, maybe not. Um, just go for easy clip. Like, it's guaranteed you don't have to deal with RNG. Um, RNG is random number generation, so it's just factors that you cannot control in your runs. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's just shortened to that because random number generator is just a lot to say. Oh, what am I doing? That's interesting. Rebo was a poor decision, actually. Yeah, so I'm two for four on Yumps this run, I think, right? I, th I got yellow switch pals, right? Can't remember now. trying to think of other examples of randomness. So, uh, like, flight speed is technically random. They can be slightly manipulated after the fact, but your initial flight speed is random um, because it oscillates every single frame. So, where, like, a tool could technically manipulate your speed, but effectively, to a human, it is random. Or again, the... whatever, it's the leftovers or some weird RAM value that affects the hard clip. Um, yes, that's another good example. Yep, running speed as well, and the, the jump height is a good example of how the randomness factors into that. Too quick on that. So that was my fault, because that means I just did the wrong time. Yoshi, forward. Really, game? Um, in runs, I would say it's flight speed. Um, but again, that can be manipulated. You can... There are very subtle differences between the flight speeds, and so you can look for them. But they are quite difficult to see. Yeah, and the clips are, as well, pretty good sources of RNG. Oh. Well, booming starting positions are static. Um, and are just remembered between levels. So I wouldn't say those are random. Those are fixed. Yep. <laughs> Everyone else is calling out on him. My bad for piling on. See, so if you look at the end timer, and since I didn't try to adjust my flight speed, I know that I had a 49 flight speed. Um, it varies between 47 and 51, and that's in subpixels per frame. Um, if I had a 51 right from the beginning, I would end with a 63 on the timer. 50 would be a 52. I'm 62. 59, it's a 61. Uh, the other ones I prefer not to think about, so. Dolphin Pattern is a very good example of true RNG. Certain dolphin, the... the dolphin generators. 
Nope. It's always consistent. Which is really nice for speedruns, since you always have to deal with the boo rings in speedruns. Especially for 11 exit. If they were random, that'd be really annoying. It'd make this a much less optimized game. Because that boo ring current position is so important to 11 exit. It's actually different on SMA2 as well, which is really annoying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that there's not very much RNG in SMW. Yeah, dealing with the hands of fate. <laughs> looking decent on this split, actually. It's not many runs get this far on A1 runs. And clips were... Eh, actually pretty rough, but... <laughs> I bet, yeah. I've never been a really big fan into this PC game speedruns. Like, I like PC games. It's like... There's something nice about the old games. One, SMW is a great game. Two, you don't have to deal with any patches and very little RNG. And most RNG is based on frame counter. Not like an actual number generator because that would cost CPU cycles. Which it did not have many of, so. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay. Covered. Very poor decision. Do you wish I had a backup cape right now? Okay, the next, as long as I don't die uh, here, okay. Gold split. Okay, Dark Souls isn't really a peace game, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Because that resonator is one of the worst. So I actually have. That's as soon as, I, as long as I don't mess them up. Ah, oh, shoot! I messed up. As long as I make it through this level, it will be okay as well, though. Ah, oh, shoot! Yeah, I also played this originally on GBA. Right, I didn't get the Okay, never mind, we're okay. I can give this a second shot now. That's what the back of strat's supposed to look like. I don't mess it up like an idiot. It's okay, though. I think it's probably close to like 30 seconds. I don't know, we'll find out later. It's extremely well documented. Secret exit this time. It's also really fun for speedrunning and like looking into glitches because the tasks are, like, are really well integrated with the speedrunning community.
I know, like, Super Metroid has some ROM hacks, but I don't know how in-depth of ROM hacking you can get into that. Ouch, the entire level is in time loss. Just kidding. Uh-oh. Okay, we're fine. Yes, it's fine. Super scary, Roy. Beats. Why not? I'm glad I didn't give up on that Roy fly. Ouch, 40 seconds? Yeah. That was not intended. That was not intended at all, I promise you. I've actually practiced that a bit. But I did not mean to go for that this time. <sighs> Whew. Okay. Really focus time now. Oh, we're gonna play this safe here because I think I'm getting really tired right now, and getting tired is not allowed because I need to finish. Yeah. The problem is I got to a point where I realized I'm like, I screwed up. I'd given up. Yeah, some of the... I think most of it's fine. Ultra Star is where the difficulty gets a little dumb. With the, the Kaizo blocks. Also, I need to... Really sorry, guys, but I do need to... Honestly, not look at Chaz as much. I know Chaz's been really fun this evening. Okay. But I do need to consciously look at chat less than right now. So I do not blow this run, because this run is ridiculous and is slipping away. start to this room. Decent end, though. Yeah, good enough to get a 62 pipe. That's a decent speed. That's better, though. I guess it's a 30, not a 31. Oh, I got the 31. There we go. There we go. The optimal chocolate secret.
I really like that level. Definitely one of my favorites, just because it's very interesting to optimize, especially the second room. I think you guys just enjoy different types of difficult hacks. Um, whatever. Yeah. Or some people prefer the long time it takes to do research on that. But. Kaizo goes to like speedrunners really like Kaizo because speedrunning, at least a lot of it, especially to me, is a lot of research, practice, and looking into things and seeing what other people are doing and find improvements like, to it and find things that work for you. Um, but for a casual player, you want to be able to react and you want it to be fair and challenging and interesting, but you don't want it to be unfair. Stay up there. Full post. Stay up. Stay up. We're good. See you, Switch. Yeah. I would say Kaizo is quite different from what you actually have to do in game, but. This is probably one of my worst levels. It's just I have not learned the strats. It is, but like it certainly feels like it was hard programmed in for this these four reservoirs to be so much nicer, and the previous four to be like the worst. I don't know what it is. People say that the chocolate is what like calms them, but like it's it's scary, but it's true. Those reservoirs are always much nicer. I mean, that's what speedrun gets to um, when you are at a high enough level. But, I mean, because you could look at Darbian, who's doing months of attempts and does not get a PB. But that's because he's playing at such a ridiculous level. Okay, 
Wendy, please do not wreck me again. I've been recently. Well, how did I duck there? Put that a little too close for my workout, so. Yeah. That's the first room. Most of the danger. Yeah, those are really cool. I do like that as well. <laughs> yeah. But like games that keep track of like in-game time. For sure. Because that's like the traditional IL game. Scroll is despawned. Yep. <laughs> right, because these are new splits, so it's going to say no time to save, but there should is technically a ton of time to save on these splits. But it may not update some of best, because some of best is going to be using the previous some best in this area, which I think was actually somewhat decent. Bowser, we really need to focus now. Okay. Right, so when we get to the ghost house, we're only going to do the normal exit and not the secret exit. Um, for reasons I may explain later. Yeah. 
us. No, we're good. Um, I'm really glad you're enjoying it. Um, there are a lot of people who speedrun Super Mario World, so I'm really love to answer your question as best as I can, but um, I getting really tired, and this is going exceptionally well, and I would like to not mess this up. Um, but um, you can get this on emulator, and that's how I started, because I wasn't sure how invested I wanted to get into this. I would get an emulator, I would start just playing and practicing a bit. Uh, there's an exceptionally good speedrun wik Wikipedia page on strats that you can use. Um, I'll go to... Oh. Thank you, Master Pants. Um, go to speedrun.com, watch other people, uh, other people runs. That's a really good way to get into it. Um, just to see what other people's do. Other people's do? Whatever. Anyway. I'm going to thank Master Pants for helping me out. And I will nail this. Right? No, that's correct. That's 100% correct. Holy crap. Normal exit, normal exit, normal exit. Not doing secret exit yet. I wanna. Because in the past I've done it twice to get a save box later. I realize I don't need to repeat the level, I'll just do it later to get the save box when I want it. I did make it. Nice. Okay. That was really scary. Going back to mean level design, this secret exit, pretty freaking mean. Extremely difficult level, and you have to keep Yoshi get the secret exit. I think it's pretty brutal. It's okay. I've got a cape already. So it's pretty minor. I'm going 
like a backward bounce here. Uh, cause I'm gonna go get the secret exit right now, cause I wanna save right before I do the orbs upcoming. It's not efficient in overworld movement, uh, like at all. But um, I want this save right before I do these orbs. In case there's a crash. Oh, I should've grabbed that fire flower. These orbs are considerably less safe than um, why I want orbs. At least second try. I've been messing that up and I've lost like 20 to 30 seconds on that split, so it's been really frustrating. It's fine. It's fine. Nice. No crashes. Like, I've, I've worked on those a lot to make sure there's no crashes, but it's still scary. But... Bad. 
this sucks. Like, really bad. Might have even been faster to die and then fly again. Like, honestly. Probably. Now it's definitely faster. Shoot. Nice. Nice. No. Still three minutes ahead. <sighs> I just can't put together a good VOB. Lost a minute and a half here. I mean, it's literally just the Bowser fight now. Unless I really screw up the Bowser fight, we should be good. Both front and back door uh, count as an exit. I think that's what he meant, mostly. problem. No cape Bowser fight is super, super useful. Every category. At some point you will run into Bowser. You do not have a cape. And you are like, this sucks. Maybe I should practice this. All of a sudden, you practice it.
I've been really wanting a 145 for a long time. Get a 143. It's just crazy. It even ends in 314. Perfect. I can't get another PB. <sighs> Enter all doors. Just ask S. Brams. I'm sure he'll run it. Okay. We'll reset just to confirm that we did get all A1. Please say A1, please say A1. Be good. We in there. <laughs>